my car. I cleared all the snow from Monday off of it. And it's snowing again. And it's like, that's, that's pretty deep. It's like another inch and a half or so. It's really blinding to be out here right now. You can see when you step, your foot goes all the way down. It's about 18 inches deep. Uh, you get snow blindness in snow like this because the sun reflects into your irises and burns your, your retinas. Uh, let me get up this hill. Okay. Just to give you an idea of how deep it is. They cleared the sidewalks over here. At least they were clear yesterday. Oh, they've they've re snowed back in. Never mind. I was going to show you some reference. You can clear out some of the sidewalk where it's visible. That's the sidewalk. That is how deep it is. So. Everything's getting recoded. It's pretty bad. At least the roads are sort of clear. I don't have a lot of snow on them. Fucking people littering is really obvious after it snows. It's fucking one of the worst places for litter. People just throw shit on the ground with no fucks given. <laughs> This is fucking deep. Look at these tracks. This is where someone walked Monday. It's filled back in. Look at this drift. It all drifted because this is in between the two buildings where the wind blows. So it is like super deep right here. Holy shit. <laughs> Here's a car that hasn't been cleared at all since Monday. You can see it's kind of melted off the sides. But that is fucking covered. Here's some bike racks. Those aren't going anywhere. Nobody has their back wheels stolen yet. That's good. Some trees. Reference. Holy shit. My neighbor Charlie is back there helping some people dig out of our car. I didn't want to say anything. You can almost see him over there. Ah, fuck it. We're having to dig to drive anywhere today. Check this motherfucker out. It's got a fucking snowdrift covering him. This is basically what the roads look like where they haven't scraped anything. Just a bunch of ruts. I'm gonna show you in a minute when I go back over there. I don't wanna say anything because there's people over there digging. Look at all these fucking drifts where they put parking lots and just piled it up in the mountains. Like I heard in Tennessee they got a lot of ice. Here just all dry snow that now with people driving on it turning into slush and shit and packed it down. I really gotta get my neighbor Charlie in this video otherwise it's gonna be the whitest video I've ever made. Yeah I can't like point my camera up at stuff because I'll tell you exactly where I'm at. There's like signs everywhere. There's like the side of the road. There's some like big piles over there. Stuff that's been like just piled up. Here's somebody made like a, a pyramid or something. These like car parking spots next to the road look like just boar wallows or bear dens. Let's see. How bad it's snowing right now against those trees and stuff. Just like a whiteout almost. Okay, I found something cool. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. It's about a five foot deep mound. I wanna test the firmness of this. One thing you should remember in a survival situation is where your base camp is and however far away you walk away from your base camp, you have to walk that far back to it. Depending on the conditions, that may not be a good idea. Okay, so we have here, we're at a school. That right there is a bike path. There is nothing 
cleared here. This is Koosh. Big ass snowman head is what that is. Look at this. I don't know if you can see where it starts and begins in this video because it looks really shit with the snow blindness. And I'm climbing on top. Oh shit. It's down to my knee. It's not even the top of it. I'm going to go down here. I think these drivers are going to be curious about what the fuck I'm doing. This video just looks like a bunch of whiteness. It's like I'm not even showing you anything really. There we go. Let's get some contrast on this. Some cobblestones. <sighs> School's out, so I should not be run over by any buses. Let's just uh, let's get a reverse pick here of the OT2. And uh, let me see, make sure there's no cars coming. They're not going really slow. It's not even really nice or anything, but I'm just gonna. Goosh! Wow, it's taller than I am. Look, my feet aren't even at the bottom of it. The bottom of it's down there. And it's still, in reference to the T2, I'm six foot tall, so it's still way up above me. It's still, look at this, it's dry powder. You can't even make a snowman out of this. It's worthless. <laughs> and now my hand's freezing, and I gotta go back home. Son of a bitch. The clouds are kind of clear. I said way back in there. That should look dark. Okay, this mess right here, there's the cleared road. Here's the not cleared road. It's fine cross to get you. don't have to worry about getting hit because most people will just be spinning out and shit. I'm going to show you once again the other side of the road, but I probably won't say anything. That's what people digging and stuff. Just because there's a blizzard doesn't mean it's not Miller time. Alright, I'm going to take a risk here and show you guys something. This is a survival tip number two. The worst thing you don't ever want to do in 18 inches of snow is drop your keys into that 18 inches of snow you won't find them again until spring unless you saw where they went in and you can pull them out again luckily that was an undisturbed batch of snow that still had you know, it was clear so I could see where they went in so you want to constantly feel around your thighs and you want to feel like there's constantly a small midget pressing on it with a stick that's when you know your keys are there Look at this fucking mound. That's like chest level. I'm sure all you see is white, but that's what it is. See, right now it looks like I'm messing with my phone. But I'm actually recording a video looking down. Which is really sneaky. Oh, okay. the same as the other road. I thought it was a lot worse. Well, there's a cross section over here. Comes down the parking lot. It looks really bad. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's just ruts. Deep tracks. You really need a snowmobile if you want to get around in something like this efficiently. Look at those gusts down there. Those houses. Oh, shit. Little snow nato. Full of sharks, werewolves, and Mexicans. Look at this look at it. I'm back. I guess that is all. It's T2 signing out.